You've probably heard about dividend investing or the dividend snowball, a strategy that promises that you can live off of your investments without ever lifting a finger. It sounds like a dream, but here's the truth they're not telling you. If you're not careful, this snowball could melt before it even gets rolling. My name is Patrick Kenny, and over the last several years, I've already built a six-figure plus portfolio that if I never invested another dime again, would be worth over $4.7 million by the time I retire. Today, I'm gonna to break down the reality of dividend investing, showing you what the gurus conveniently forget to mention. The idea is pretty straightforward. You invest in stocks that pay dividends, reinvest those dividends to buy more shares, and repeat this process over time. Eventually, the dividends will grow large enough that you can live off of them, doing nothing but sitting back and collecting checks. It sounds amazing, almost too good to be true, and that's because in many ways, it is. The problem is, a lot of people selling you the dream are skipping over some critical details. They're throwing out numbers like 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, or $5,000 a month in passive income, making it sound like all you need to do is start investing today and you'll be swimming in cash in no time. But let me tell you, that's far from the whole story. If you want to make $2,000 a month from dividends, you're going to need a portfolio worth about six to $800,000. That's right, almost a million bucks just to get a passive income that everyone's talking about. And how do you get there? By investing $500 a month every month for the last 28 years. And guess what? In 1995, $500 was worth about 20% of the average income. Think about that. How many people could afford to save 20% of their income back then or even now. Now here's where it gets even trickier. That $2,000 a month might sound like a nice cushion today, but let's talk about what's happening in the real world. Inflation is at levels we haven't seen in decades, and it's eating your buying power every single day. Just look around. Grocery bills are higher. Gas prices are through the roof. And rent? Don't even get me started. The cost of living is skyrocketing, and that $2,000 a month isn't gonna stretch as far as it used to. And none of this stops here. In 30 years, if inflation averages just 2% a year, you're gonna need closer to $3,600 a month just to maintain the same lifestyle. That's not extra spending money, that's just keeping your head above water. So if you think you're gonna retire on $2,000 a month from your dividends, think again. The reality is you'll need to aim much higher or risk falling short when it really counts. Let's get into something that really gets overlooked and they completely avoid talking about, taxes. Depending on where you live, dividends can be taxed heavily. In the US, unless you're investing through a Roth IRA or some tax advantaged account that you can't even use in the first place right now, you could be paying 15 to 22% in taxes on your dividends. And if you're earning a solid income, those rates can be even higher. Suddenly, that free money doesn't seem so free, does it? And yes, even if you simply reinvest right away and never touch that cash flow, you will still pay taxes. And it's not just the taxes. Every time you reinvest your dividends, you could be hit with trading fees depending on your broker. Sure, some platforms are low cost or even free, but nothing's really free in this world. Those small fees can add up over time, chipping away your returns without you even noticing. But here's the kicker. Dividends are never guaranteed. They're discretionary payment made by a company. And if things go south, they can cut or eliminate those payments entirely. Think it can't happen? Just look at General Electric, GE. After paying dividends for over a century, they slashed them in 2019. If you were relying on that as a source of income, you'd be in for a rude awakening and your income is gone overnight. So you still think you can beat the markets without dividend stocks? Let me show you why it's a lot harder than it sounds. Out of the 13,600 companies listed in the US, only 805 have outperformed the S&P over the past 20 years. That's about 6%. And of those, only 156 actually pay a dividend of 2% or higher. That's just over 1% of the market. So you're telling me that you can pick the 1% that will outperform? Good luck with that. Now here's the bottom line. If your goal is to make as much money as possible, you might be better off just investing in index funds that include dividend paying stocks. You get the best of both worlds without having to stress about picking the right stocks. You're diversified, you're in the game, and you don't have to worry about whether you're in that lucky 1%. Look, I'm not here to tell you that dividend investing is a scam. Dividends play an important role in investing, and they can be a solid part of your strategy. But you need to go in with your eyes wide open. Understand the risks, the costs, and the reality that is a long, slow game that takes serious capital to get off the ground and make some real income. So before you jump into the next hot dividend stock, make sure you're equipped to make the right decisions. Now I've covered this in my detailed video called how to pick the best stocks to buy. 
It's packed with actionable strategies that will help you identify the stocks that are actually worth your time and money. Check it out if you haven't already. Until next time, keep grinding and happy investing.